Okay, welcome to this video. This is on. Uh, this is to do binary on beats. We say a binary beat um, or, or beats are sound waves. So, for example, this gentleman here. He's so in his left here is hearing a hundred hertz, and his right here is hearing one hundred and five. So the difference between the two is the five hertz, and it's kind of like a. Uh, like a bounce, you can sort of hear it. It's really, really subtle, um, but it is noticeable in the brain. So you need to listen to uh, binary beats through headphones. Um, they won't work otherwise. And it's generated between this, I think it's olivary nucleus. If I've said that wrong, I apologize in the brain, probably. The word binary actually means two ears, which means you do need to listen to it via headphones. If you listen to it on a normal stereo, you won't hear the difference between the two because you're actually not hearing it. In fact, it's not actually there. You actually create it in this part of your brain. Okay, so why do you need to listen to binary beats and what, how are they gonna help you? Well, they improve left and right brain communication. So we know that the left side of our brain is very logical. It looks at words, numbers, details. It loves making lists. And the right side of our brain is very creative for doing, feeling, touching, making. Um, and then right between the middle of those two sets of brain is the corpus callisium. Is it callisium? So again, if I've said that wrong, <coughs> I apologise. And that is connecting the two sides of your brain together. And when you improve your left-right brain communication, and you make the two sides of your brain work together, which <coughs> they often do because... <clears throat> there isn't someone who's definitely logical and not creative at the same time. There is, There are people where there are definite connections between the two. But the idea of binaural beats is that you are enhancing or improving that left-right brain communication. They've been studying this for over 200 years. Um, and once you can get into different states, uh, then you can improve that uh, left-right brain communication and you can improve your different state that you're in. So the different states we've got are gamma. Now there are continuous studies on what this actually does, what state you're in. Beta, you're awake, you're alert. Alpha, you're very relaxed. Then you've got your meditative states, which is theta, which is very creative. And then delta, which is very dreamlike. And both of those hit the meditative level. So if you access the right state, um, then you can put your brain into that state. And depending on what it is that you need to do, um, you can, uh, use that state to make whatever you're doing um, a lot more easier to achieve. So say for example if you're studying then you can actually find um, if you just type in binaural beats into YouTube for anything. So type in binaural beats for study, binaural beats for relaxation, stress, anxiety, depression, um, absolutely anything and what it'll do is it'll tap into that specific hurt and that specific state and it's really good. Again, um, it's very good for concentration and focus. I mean, that's the main thing that I use it for and, it, and I find it exceedingly helpful. Um, so look it up, try a few of them out. Don't listen to them too loud. So listen to them at a sensible level, not too loud. Don't listen to them for too long when you just start out, especially if it's for anxiety or stress or anything like that, uh, because it might be a little bit too much because you've listened to it before. Um, but if you're studying, then you're probably only going to be studying for what, about a 90, period, 90 minute period and then you'll move on and have a break and then you'll start again. So for studying, it's not so bad because you can, and the same with work, as long as you're taking breaks and you're walking away from it for a bit, you're fine. And also when you finish listening to a binaural beat, you hear a slight hum in your, heat, in your ears. Don't worry, it goes after a very few seconds. And, um, and so far, I mean, it's nothing but positive and it's a definite, you know, as well as EFT and as well as havening, these are all techniques that are very good for helping you reach peak performance, helping you um, reduce any symptoms that you've got of anxiety or stress over every day-to-day -day, um, activity that you need to do and just get you through the day. A really helpful thing to do. I mean, it's definitely easy to stick on a pair of headphones when you're doing something, especially if you're reading or something like that. Um, but again, if you don't listen to them headphones, they won't work. So I hope this helped. Um, again, I'll put this very simple slide into an interactive PDF. And if you want it, just click the link below. Um, 
I haven't put any links below to any specific binaural beat, so it's up to you to decide which it is you want. But if there's something that you specifically want, then it's a specific hurt you need to find. Um, so just uh, just drop a comment, I can find it for you. I can find any specific one that you want, and I'll, I'll send you the link, um, and then you can find it straight away. Hopefully this helped though. Okay, thank you.